Hello everyone, I'm Kevin, otherwise known as Forum BX257, here to bring you another 1980s G.I. Joe toy review, and today I'll be taking a look at the small battlefield accessory playset, the 1985 Cobra Rifle Range Unit. Now, even though in the cartoons and in the comic books, the GI, both G.I. Joes and Cobras are often shown training, this is actually one of the very few training accessories throughout the whole vintage line and in fact I couldn't actually find even a modern equivalent to a training uh, playset and this particular playset with its very distinctive um, targets and setup is never used in either the cartoons or the comic books rather <laughs> rather an oversight I, I should think another interesting thing about this particular playset is it came with three rifles and the artwork and even the um, prototype picture on the back shows one of the uh, rifles being a standard Cobra AK-47 but it does not come with that instead it comes with a completely different uh, rifle which is only shown on the blueprints and instruction sheet Interestingly enough, if you want to switch out that particular rifle, the 1984 uh, Battle Gear Accessory Pack number 2 actually does come with that particular rifle in that particular color scheme. The rifle range came with a whole bunch of really small items, but fortunately you didn't really have to put anything together like most playsets and vehicles. You still have to put on the stickers of course. Included are two targets, which loosely hook onto two sandbags, an embankment, a rather nice sculpt at that, a warning sign, which you can use as a secondary target. It came with two figure stands. Now you have to remember back then the figure stands didn't come with the figures. You can only get these figure stands in these small play sets or the accessory pack battle gear. And there's a rifle rack which holds the three rifles. Now the three rifles includes a gun which is a remold of 1982 and 1983 grunts rifle, a remold of the 1983 airborne rifle, and a remold of the 1983 snow job rifle. Now, because of the, um, well, the Cobra Blue, but um, in essence, they are kind of a funny color. And I know a lot of people actually have uh, mistaken these for accessory pack battle gear uh, issues, but none of these weapons actually ever came in dark blue. They were exclusive to this set. One of the things you were supposed to do because these are loosely hooked on to the, um, the sandbags, you are supposed to pretend to knock the uh, targets down after hitting them. Unfortunately, uh, whoever put this together back in 1985, unfortunately put the um, target sights on the wrong side. So uh, this clip is actually pointing in the wrong direction, making it a little hard to flip down from that side. Even though um, maybe a training scenario isn't quite as fun as you might think, um, you can still sort of get rid of the, uh, the firing sign and, and the targets and still have a nice embankment, some extra sandbags, 
and a nice little rifle rack to add maybe to whatever headquarters that you might have. Of course, the extra rifles really spice up any little display you have anyway. In the early 1990s, Hasbro made available a Cobra rifle range unit as a mail away. However, they supplemented some of their stock with Argentinian overstock. And as such, some of them wind up being a variant with a slight color difference. The color difference is being primarily in the brown plastic parts on the regular retail ones. We're now sort of a tan, almost gray-like color on the variants. Well, that's all the time I have right now. Thank you for watching my video, and stay tuned for next week to see another 1980s G.I. Joe toy review. See you then!